What's going on, y'all? Site Perspectives, GeoFux, and um, this video, oh, I hate when you, this video, uh, we're going to be discussing a few different things. So, at my job, they have it where people are supposed to self-report, okay? Self-report if they have any symptoms of COVID-19. So, like, be, when you walk through the door and before you go through the security turnstile checkpoints at my job and you're supposed to tell them no symptoms if you don't have symptoms and the symptoms you know are there's so many different symptoms it can be anywhere from you having diarrhea to you having uh, a, a coughing and sneezing to you know a sore throat there's so many different symptoms and you're supposed to self-report now does anyone see the error in this nobody's checking our temperatures which granted just because you check somebody temperature doesn't necessarily mean that person doesn't have covid as we have seen a lot of people are um a lot of people are asymptomatic so they're not going to have any symptoms so somebody could come in there and have a 97 98 you know uh regular temperature and still be a carrier of COVID-19. So just because they don't have a, a snot nose, again, it's just like HIV. There's a lot of people walking around here that are HIV positive and have no idea that they're HIV positive because they don't have any symptoms. <laughs> so this is why that is dangerous. Um, number two is also dangerous because it's self-reporting. If a person doesn't have any PTO, isn't offered any PTO, you really think they're going to come to work and then tell you, that, well, yeah, I've been having a cough the past three days and my eyes hurt and I've been having diarrhea and I don't feel good. No, they're going to come to work because they don't have PTO. And those of us who know COVID-19 and understand you're supposed to quarantine anywhere between 14 to 21 days. So if you don't have 14 to 21 PTO days, are you really going to tell the truth? And it's already being reported at various restaurants. People are in here at, I'm driving past a restaurant, just drove past Taco Bell. There's somebody at Taco Bell making your food that's sick with COVID. I'm just being real, okay? And they don't have the luxury of being like, well, I'm gonna go see the doctor because guess what? They don't have health insurance more than likely don't have health insurance and they don't have the luxury of having PTO. And then number three, I'm gonna go there. If you get sick at work because they're forcing you to work, you know, those of us that leave the house to go to work are essential workers. We are being forced into being frontline workers. They are forcing us to work outside of our houses. I'm just saying. So, in that situation, I don't think we should have to use our personal PTO if we get sick. That should be on the company. That should be on your job. Because why should I have to use up my PTO because you had me here and I'm sick because you had us at this building when we could, you know what I mean? I'm just being real. All right. Number four issue that, that sticks out to me. Why are we allowing people to travel in a fucking pandemic? Yes, I just used the F-bomb. Why are we allowing people to travel in a pandemic? They need to literally cut non-essential travel. I mean, I have colleagues, and don't get me wrong, I get it. Especially for young people, you know, uh, millennials and, and, and Gen X or Gen Zers, I get it. Our, our lives have pretty much been shit since day one, you know, we've been living through economic disparities back to back. I couldn't, I mean, literally by 2007, 2008, we was already in a recession and now we back, you know I mean? It's just been L after L after L for us. And I get a lot of us are like, well, if this is the end of the world, at least let me travel and get something out of it. Like that's how some people think, but here's my issue. I got colleagues that are at the office. Oh, I just got back from Texas. Oh, I just got back from New York. I'm going to Chicago. Oh, I'm going to Cali. Oh, I'm going here. 
And in the meantime, you're leaving somewhat stable states and then going to places that are in the red. And that's how COVID keeps being spread because everybody is just out and about. People are not wearing masks. That's another thing. At my job, you're supposed to be wearing a mask, right? But also our governor has already mandated that we wear a mask. People are not wearing masks at all. They're just walking around. People are, we sit right up against each other. We are closely sitting together. All they did was put up these little fake plastic plexiglasses that's supposed to protect us. We're not six feet apart. And then keep in mind, the way the, pe the plexiglass is set up, it's only on your desk. Keep in mind, when you're sitting, you're sitting behind your desk. So how is the plexiglass protecting you? That don't make sense. And again, you're not six feet apart. So again, that don't make sense. And then you're allowing people to come back to work despite the fact that they've been traveling out of state. And there shouldn't be any traveling out of state. I'm just being real. They need to cut non-essential travel. It is not necessary for you to go on a damn vacation. It's not. You do not need to go to a different state. You don't. Take your ass up. And honestly, and it's also about to hurt people, especially in Michigan, but I'm about to say it. You really don't need to be traveling out of your own county, out of your own city. Because how else are we really supposed to track the spread, track clusters of breakouts if everybody is traveling all over the damn place? You know, <laughs> then you don't want to wear your mask. Y'all nasty. People still ain't washing their hands. You know, it's just disgusting, bro. It's disgusting. And I'm just sitting here like, we are literally, we are failing. We are at 50,000 plus cases a day in the USA. I was talking to one of my good friends in Georgia. They had 11,000 cases in one day in Georgia. In one state. Then when we look at the country as a whole, we have 50 plus 50,000 plus cases in one day. And I'm just like, we are doomed. We are doomed. And this is another prime example of how these jobs do not give a fuck about you, your family, your colleagues, your friends, your community. They don't care about your life. And they have never killed, cared about your life. I mean, let's be real here. If they cared about your life, wouldn't you be paid a living wage? If they cared about your life, wouldn't you have PTO? <laughs> they cared about your life. Wouldn't you really have a true work-life balance? If they cared about your life, wouldn't you have health insurance coverage that was actually decent? You know, I'm just being real. These jobs don't care about you. All they care about is their bottom line. And their bottom line is money. It's about money. They don't care about your health and well-being. And it's sad. Because like I said, a lot of people are in constant denial about the obvious. A lot of people really can't believe that this is going on and that we have a country that would allow this and these jobs and da-da-da-da. And I'm sitting over here like, honey, welcome to America. <laughs> Welcome to America K -K with the three K's. If you needed a reminder of what rules here, cash rules everything around me, dollar dollar bill, y'all. If you needed a reminder, here goes your reminder. You know how back during, um, <laughs> back during uh, the first, second rounds of slavery, enslavement, down in the southern regions of this country, they used to say cotton is king. Well, cotton has now turned into money. Money is king. Y'all better be safe out here, man. For real. Wear your mask. Stay six feet apart. If you have uh, a way to work from home, work from home. But I understand all of us can't work from home. Or don't have... I'm not going to say all of us can't. All of us don't have the resources... Uh, or the uh, or the opportunities or the privileges to work from home. Let's just say that. So those of us that have to get out here, 
we need hazard pay. We need living wages. But in the meantime, wear your mask. They try to stay six feet apart. Constantly wash your hands. Disinfect. Sending y'all love and positivity. Be safe.